certainly have their worst odds all season of making the playoffs. They lost on Friday to the Bucks, who have the uh, best record in the NBA. Then they lost on Saturday to the Suns, who have the worst record in the NBA. LA is now four and a half games behind the eighth seed with only 19 games left after the Suns lost. How Kuzma said, quote, obviously there's something wrong with this team. It's up to us to try to fix it. We're joined by FS1 NBA analyst Stephen Jackson. Good morning, Good morning. Stephen. Good morning. You know, we need to get your take on this. We haven't heard from you in a bit. What's wrong with the Lakers? Well, it's, you see a lot of what's been going on all year. You know, LeBron come here, kind of what Katie said, the media frenzy. You know, then you go to, okay, we're trying to get AD, that frenzy. The, then you go to the players. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be here, Frenzy. I don't know if I can trust him, Frenzy. Is he really trying to trade me? Is he telling no. me this, Frenzy? Then you get to the point where, okay, now there's no trade. Now guys are pointing fingers at each other because a few minutes ago mm -hmm. you said I wouldn't be here. I don't know if I was going to be here. I want to try to help the team get out of the slump. So it's more of a everybody pointing fingers, and, and it goes to show that everything they've been through this year goes that the team is in turmoil mm -hmm. and the play is starting to show. Um, you can tell they're not on the same page when LeBron is throwing the ball out and he's in the back. He don't do stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So it's a frustration. Like, so it's oh, even God. starting to take a well, toll it, on the best player in the world. Is it just a lack of focus? Like, no, nah, it's, it's, it's frustration. <laughs> uh, uh, it's frustration, Skip, because it, it's finally starting to it's taking toll on him now. Huh. It's been taking toll on the young players. You know, we expect that. But I'm not counting them out. We're still talking about LeBron. Those young guys still can play. Um, it's going to be hard to, to pick up those four games, but I still think LeBron can do it. I think <clears throat> the biggest thing I see is defensively. You can't keep giving up 33 points in the first quarter, giving up 64 points at the half. Mm -hmm. You give up 64 points at the half, that's 128 for the game. You're going to lose most of those games. Right. And that's what they've been doing. They're not good enough to overcome the lapses that they have defensively. Mm -hmm. Because LeBron, what LeBron is used to is having shooters. They don't have shooters. They have to play an almost perfect game in order for them to win. And veterans. And veterans. And the thing is, if you look at, they, they, okay, they'll play the pick and roll. They'll close it out, or they'll show, or Rondo will fight over the top, and then the next minute, mm -hmm. they forget, JaVel backs off, the get, get, guy gets a wide open 15-footer. Mm -hmm. You look at that lineup, and I said this, and I told Skip, I said, Skip, Rondo was knocking down shots, but if he's not knocking down those shots, mm -hmm. they're a small team. You're yes. going basically out there with three threes, a two, and a point guard, and they got pounded on the board. Phoenix? Pound them plus 11. Milwaukee, because they got great size. Pounding them plus 13. You're not winning like that. It, Rondo shooting 12 threes. And both games they had leads, nice side leads. Mm. So when Rondo, Rondo, shooting four, Rondo shooting 12 threes. Look, yeah, he, he got he to gotta, he gotta contribute more. The veterans got to contribute more. LeBron can't <laughs> lead you in points, assists, and rebounds every night. That's why they're not winning. Every night, Skip. You heard what Stax say? Stax say the man. Every night. Every night. So can we get some help? A little help. This is not the Eastern Conference, LeBron, so I'm, I, I hope he comes to the media one day and say, okay, now I really see that the Western Conference is a different oh. monster. Mm. Because if he was in the East, we wouldn't be talking about this. Mm. He'll still be at the top. You know? and, and he's not used to being in a situation where he's losing, and at the end of the season, you know, he's talking about uh, the players don't need to be looking at the records and the clock and stuff. Well, he used to looking at it because he used to looking at to see if he was at the top of the East fighting against Boston the last couple of years. Well, Here, it's a different story in the West. What did he tell you last year? Mm. He said, I don't care if I'm the first seed, second seed, AC, or mustard seed. Right. When LeBron James <laughs> coming to he said, if I come to your building, you got problems. Yeah. Now, he go to people building, the Lakers got problems. Even Phoenix's building? I just said that, Even, yes. What's it called? Talking stick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, got, you got problems at talking stick? At talking stick. Side. Whipping stick. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Come on, give that the name of the building. You made that up. I did not. <laughs> talking stick of resort it? That's arena. I That's it. Talking stick, stick right. arena. Let's so you lost, to, you lost at the casino. <laughs> they were at the, that's a casino. Yeah, but at the same time, Golden State losing to Orlando, so uh -huh. you can't really pay attention mm. to stuff like that. So here we go again. Poor LeBron just doesn't have enough help. <laughs> he doesn't have enough help. Right, yeah, Poor I'm not LeBron. hearing that. Poor LeBron. Poor kid. Get him, Skip. Here we go. Both of these games are right there for the taking. There have been a dozen previous games mm -hmm. right there for the taking. Mm -hmm. The best player on the planet has to close. He's the best setup man in basketball because he will put you right on the verge of closing the game. Mm -hmm. Then he needs to close it. 
the kids are still too much kids to close right. these games because these are feeling like playoff games. And Kuzma, doesn't, he's not there yet. And Brandon Ingram will still attack. But then he starts to shrink a little bit at the end because he doesn't really – he's not sure, is it really my turn to do this? Right. It's up to LeBron, and you keep talking. He's more magic than Michael, right? He is. But you can be magic only so long. And then with three minutes left in the game, you have to go full-on Michael Jordan. If you're about to pass him on the all-time scoring list, you got to show us you can be him when it matters. Or even Kobe. Or even, we can go Kobe. We, we talked about this earlier. You got to be Kobe. Tonight. Well, he okay, could be, tonight. Well, he could be Magic Johnson game six against Philly. 42-15-7, okay. he's going to be that, that magic. But that didn't happen very often. No, but I'm saying, if he's going to be that magic. Right. Okay, so let's go back to Friday night. LeBron hit a three, and I was highly impressed because they just dared him to shoot it with 3-11 left, and he just flat out clean ripped it. And all of a sudden, boom, that, that arena just erupts, and they're up two with three minutes left, and Giannis goes down and charges, and it's Lakers ball. You got the ball in your hands with three minutes left. Who do you have to charge on? He, he ain't did. playing no D. Yeah. They tell me yeah. LeBron ain't playing no D. Who we had a charge on? Well, he could always just stand flat. Don't do that. See, there you go, Skip. Come on, come on Shane. Come on, yeah. Shane. The last two he games he played D. The last two little, games. I've last seen two, some efforts. You were just saying. Yeah, last two. Yeah, last two? Yeah, last so, two. So it took this long. It took this long. It took this long. It took this long. He's too admitted. We okay. missed a third of the season with injury. He haven't been, okay. he, he haven't been running so, down shots. So the ball is in your hands. And again, I could tell you a hundred ways LeBron could close against Milwaukee, but he doesn't. The Bucks go on a 15 to 2 run at Staples, and it is over like that. It yeah. just happened like that. And you're like, Deep. wait a minute, what just happened? Defense. Rondo and LeBron don't connect on a pass, and it's like, what are you guys doing? So they give the ball back, then LeBron gets an offensive foul because the refs don't give him any respect anymore. They're just like, you cry too much. We're not going to give you anything. You're 6'9, 280 pounds. We're giving you nothing. Mm -hmm. So he gets the offensive foul, and all of a sudden I look up, and the game is virtually over. And LeBron gets an easy layup at the end of the game. And then what did he do? 14 seconds left, he starts walking. And he keeps walking, and he keeps walking, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And by the time the clock is out, he's walking up the tunnel. And it, it, the, the body language is, I ain't associated with that mess out there. I'm not part of that mess. You blame those guys, don't blame me. And then he goes in the locker room, the first thing he says is, Everybody talks about Giannis, but it's the supporting cast. They've surrounded Giannis with a great cast. They did. Fingers they pointed. Have. Come on now. Fingers pointed. I know you pointed. can't say that. You can't say that. You, you yeah. just can't say it because you've had enough trouble. You want to ship out half the locker room for AD. And all of a sudden, you're just basically just rubbing their noses in it in the locker room after a close loss to Giannis. And Giannis wasn't great. He's still got a knee issue. They got a good supporting cast, but there are a lot of spare parts. And you make a great coach, coach, too. They got a great And you coach. make LeBron. That's, that's, you, a, you got a, that's great a good coach. point. And you make LeBron point for him. With Giannis hurt with 16 points. Mm -hmm. He didn't close. Brogdon got two and, not Brogdon, Bledsoe got two and one. Yeah, 30. Brogdon knocked that knock down three in the corner. Yeah, big. You see the That difference? was after the turnover on the inbounds by KCP. They just fell all apart. And what, what is KCP yeah. doing? They got three guys around LeBron, and he still tried to throw it to him. With, mm -hmm. with all that's going on, with all the players not understanding where they rose or if they could take a shot, if they can yep. overstep LeBron, with all that's going on, what is Luke Walton doing to keep the peace in his locker room? Nothing. Nothing. But yeah, you know why? Nothing. Because they don't respect him. They, they don't. don't. Yeah, he they they don't. don't. Yeah, they've they, they been left. left when well, you got guys like Mike Beasley going at a coach, <laughs> like when, when I was on the injury list, I would never say nothing to Pop. If I, if I wouldn't get in the game, I would never have the, the audacity to say nothing right. to Pop. When you have guys like that going at the coach, there's no respect on the team. Mm. No respect for the and coach. And you would go at Pop occasionally. When I was playing. No, I know. I got I, when it. I came out the game, stuff like that. But if I had no room huh. or if I had nothing to, to stand on, I, I, I played my role. You know, and I would I would never try to show up uh, Greg Popovich. It's always something that I feel I was right, but at the end of the day, he's the coach. Right. They was just they just showing Luke up. Even in the media, they was talking about him. Wow. And, but the, 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 and the thing is that when they put this team together, I say, hey, this makes no sense. I, I, get, I, I agree with that. I get all right. I get all that, you know, JaVale yeah. is a veteran and yeah. Rondo and Lance and all that. I say, but these parts don't make any sense for Le what LeBron is what he's had throughout the course of his career mm -hmm. is shooters. Yep. And he was talking about, and, he, and Skip, when you said it, I said, no, you can't say that. But he says, this is what I'm used to. What Giannis has, all these snipers around him, mm -hmm. when he was in Miami, he had Mike Miller and Ray Allen and Chalmers yep. and all these guys, can, mm -hmm. and, and James Jones yep. that can knock down shots. 
And when I went back to Cleveland with Kevin Love and Channing Fry and yep. Jr. Kyle, Kyle Corbin, guys mm -hmm. that can knock down That's shots, no, I this is what I'm used to. Okay. Can't say that. Can't say that. So they cut it to three at Phoenix, and I keep looking up, play after play after play, and DeAndre Ayton is guarding LeBron James. Mm. Help me out here. This is a seven-foot rookie right. guarding LeBron at the top of the circle every time because he's playing Magic Johnson. And I'm like, LeBron, just put him on a string, man. Either shoot step backs on him or just blow right by him because right. he can't stop you going to the basket. His right. feet aren't quick enough. He didn't attack.